In 2019, Brie Larson was the center of the universe. In 2023, no one recognizes her. The following is a world-class bullshitters exclusive. Last week, we covered the behind-the-scenes drama on the set of The Marvels. According to reports, Brie Larson, the star of the original Captain Marvel, has been exhibiting diva-like behavior because allegedly she's upset she's not the star of the film. 2019's Captain Marvel saw her at the center of attention, but the next outing has her sharing the spotlight with two other women who are also Marvels. It's branding to the nth degree. Now, straight from the horse's mouth, Brie Larson, we have news of her dealing with another issue that could impact the entire MCU moving forward. She may be the face of Marvel Studios' first female-led franchise, but Captain Marvel and the Marvel star Brie Larson is still rarely recognized in public. If I'm checking out at the grocery store, I don't get recognized, she told comedian Mike Birbigli on a podcast. I get, are you friends with my cousin? I am the classic face of a friend of your cousin. Larson also said that her surprising anonymity once baffled a friend, a fellow actor she went to see in a performance of A Streetcar Named Desire, when the two left the theater unencumbered after the show. I was just standing there. He was like, how is this possible? Well, it's possible because Brie Larson is either Clark Kent outside of the Captain Marvel costume, or people just really hate her. Most actors complain that they're inundated with fan requests. There are videos of Robert Downey Jr. facing swarms of fans. Entertainers from other movies and shows regularly have lines of fans to meet them and ask for pictures and autographs, but not Brie Larson. It can't be because her projects don't have reach. She's been in billion-dollar pictures. Interestingly enough, Brie Larson is also the face of Nissan cars and is regularly featured in national TV ad campaigns, yet people don't recognize her or care enough to approach her on the street. What could be the reason? There are stories of people recognizing the AT&T girl or Flo from Progressive, but they're just character actors who got a big break in a commercial. Brie Larson has starred in big films for over a decade, yet people don't approach her. How is this possible? Well, if you know her history, she was incredibly unliked by her Avengers co-stars, hated by fans, and considered a pariah in the community. Larson's defenders like to claim she suffers from the misogyny of the fan base, but there has to be more to it than that for no one to approach Larson at all. Larson's unlikable streak started way back in 2018 when she gave a speech about how A Wrinkle in Time failed because it wasn't made for the white male audience and the opinions of that white male audience are irrelevant. This sparked massive waves of controversy online. Fans now had a reason to dislike Brie Larson. Not able to help herself, Larson sought out some more attention. Upon Stan Lee's passing, she put out a narcissistic post honoring his memory. This angered fans. During the build-up to Avengers Endgame, her co-stars clearly exhibited ill will towards her. Then she was gone, and no one missed her. In a new profile by Harper's Bazaar, the MCU actress Brie Larson said she's far more grounded than being a Hollywood star might suggest. I want to be in reality. I love reality. It's all I want. My biggest fear is to not be in reality. It matters so much to me. I don't... I gotta stop for a second. Brie Larson does not live in reality. This is a goddamn excuse. Brie Larson is not liked. Brie Larson is not approached. And there's a reason why... But she comes up with this excuse, I like to live in reality. Well, Brie, let's learn a little more about your reality, shall we? I don't wear super flashy clothes when I'm out in the world because I want to stay in reality. That... okay? I'm very good at confrontation in my relationships because I want to be in reality. No, you're just unlikable. I want to be what's as close to what's true as possible. Well, your truth is subjective, so whatever you feel like on any given day is the truth, and that... You're just the type of person I don't want to know. And most people don't want to know you either, Brie Larson. So Brie Larson is just an unlikable Karen that can't keep people close to her. That's her reality. A statement like this shows just how out of touch she is. Brie Larson is failing with that objective. Larson claims she doesn't want her fame to go to her head, but it's too late. Even trying to pass off as normal is difficult for Brie. Brie Larson is as much of a human as The Thing is, and I'm not talking about the Marvel Comics version of The Thing, I'm talking about the John Carpenter thing. If you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. After all of this, the worst possible thing has happened to Brie Larson. She's become irrelevant. People don't even care to talk to her in public. How's that going to fare for the Marvels? She can try and pass off her lack of star power on her intent to keep it real, but we've all learned what happens when keeping it real goes wrong. The Marvels has two massive hills to climb. One that's five foot two, called Brie Larson, and the other one, her ego, which is as high as Mount Kilimanjaro. The CGI problem has just been weeded out, but it's going to take many films to fix that problem. The film faces apathy from fans, declining interest in the brand, and fatigue in the genre as a whole. That's before the Larson factor. The Marvels is slated to hit over the summer, after a series of date changes, but no matter the date, the Marvels has a date with Destiny, and it doesn't look too good for that film. <laughs> ¶¶
So folks, I want to know what you think about all of this. Are you surprised that Brie Larson isn't approached in public? I don't know if I could not approach Brie Larson in public. I'd probably tell her thanks for all the money I've made for her being an unlikable asshole. But I digress. I want to know what you think. I think it's a very damning indictment of one star power when your fellow actors go, how does no one approach you? You are the face of a brand. You're the face of a franchise. You're a YouTube star. You're the fucking face of Nissan. Yet no one wants to talk to this lady. No one wants to approach this lady. But Hollywood wants to put her in Star Wars and Marvel and all this other shit because she's what? She's got the right opinions? Look what those opinions get you. Irrelevancy. Apathy from a fan base. Hell, more people cheer to watch her fail than cheer to watch her win. Her only proponents are the people who cheer for feminism and women and those beliefs in general. They don't like her. She's just there. She's a byproduct. Well, you're a woman. I guess we'll just keep you in with the crew, but like, fuck you anyway, lady. It's hilarious to me, honestly. This is exactly what Marvel does not want. They cannot afford to have one of their stars, the biggest star, the most powerful superhero in the universe. If that chick can't sell a fucking movie ticket, well, we got a big problem. Look at Black Panther Wakanda Forever. That movie made significantly less than the first Black Panther film. Look at Ant-Man 3. That made significantly less than Ant-Man 2. Thor Love and Thunder made less than Ragnarok. Every Marvel movie in the MCU that ain't Spider-Man is making less than the one that came before it. Marvel is not in a good place these days, and we expect Brie Larson to just turn it around? Look, Marvel in 2019 could lie to the audience. They could pull some accounting tricks, and they could make you believe that Captain Marvel was a big success. But this year is the proving ground, because Disney is in a bad place. Marvel is in a bad place. They're cutting properties left and right. They're cutting shows. They're cutting movies. They're pushing things back because they have made mistakes for years, and it is coming to bite them in the ass. So this July, you will find out just how big of a bite Brie Larson's taken out of Marvel's ass with her stupidity. This is going to be an interesting summer. The summer of Brie Larson? Oh my god, I can't wait because seven people are going to go see that fucking movie and they're going to be so excited and then those seven people are going to go to Twitter and the rest of us aren't going to care. When does this movie come out? Who gives a shit? Who cares about Brie Larson? Not even Brie Larson. But I gotta say, for as angry as I sound, in reality, I'm so happy because it, to quote the Joker, you get what you fucking deserve. <laughs> this is just a shitty actor getting what they deserve. Nobody recognized me. Nobody likes me because you suck, lady. This isn't a bunch of fucking angry, bigoted white dudes on the internet out for revenge. Your actions have dictated the outcome. These are the consequences of your bullshit. And I, for one, am so happy. So folks, let me know how you feel about it. I don't even have three questions. That's it. I just want to know how you feel about the situation. You can hear how happy I am about it. Brie Larson put her foot in her mouth and now she has to enjoy the taste. And I've seen those pictures. Her feet are gross. So, so Brie, I hope you like dining on toe jam because oh, I'm done. I can't even make that joke. I don't want to puke on this microphone. So folks, thank you for watching. I'm going to get out of here before I get really, really ill. Thankfully, I don't have to look at pictures of Brie Larson when I record these things because I don't think I'd get through a video. But I got to get out of here. So folks, thank you for watching. Be smart. Be safe. Be cool. Be on the lookout for our next video. But always be excellent to each other. <laughs> I'm Brie Larson and nobody likes me. Ah! <laughs> oh, Hollywood. Thanks for watching today's video. Yes, it's over, but don't cry because there's more, a lot more from world class bullshitters. And there's only one way to get it hit that subscribe button below. When you do that, you'll get notifications and updates from World Class Bullshitters every time we go live. Basically, you won't miss anything. And if there's one thing I hate, it's FOMO. But the thing most people hate more than FOMO is fear of missing out on World Class Bullshitters because there's just some things you can't undo. So folks, do yourselves a favor and never miss anything from World Class Bullshitters. One last thing before you go, hit the thumbs up button. Not for our egos, no. They're big enough as this, but it does help us fight the algorithm here and well, it's man versus machine, and that's the real fight. But if that's not your battle, that's okay. There's one last way you can help WCBS, and that's going over to shopwcbs.com, picking up a t-shirt, a beer glass, a sweatshirt, a poster, all sorts of ways to back WCBS. The difference between us and other YouTube channels is I'm the artist that makes all this stuff, so if you enjoy art beyond t-shirts, you can even read our comic books. We got it all! We're called the epitome of pop culture for a reason, and no, again, it's not for our egos. So folks, make sure you're involved with every aspect of world-class bullshit. Not just for us, but 
do it for yourself. We're making the change in entertainment everybody out there wants to see. And a special thank you goes out to all of our wonderful patrons who make this content possible. Go to patreon.com slash worldclassbs to get involved and help out the channel. Attention all wrestling fans, get ready for the ultimate fan experience at the WCBS WrestleMania Fan Meetup in Los Angeles, California from March 30th through April 2nd. This event will bring together the biggest event in wrestling and your favorite podcast, as well as diehard fans from all over the world. This is the perfect opportunity for fans to connect and celebrate their love of the sport as well as their love of us. So mark your calendars, grab your tickets, and get ready to suck it and join us live. Don't miss out on the ultimate fan experience of the WCBS WrestleMania Fan Meetup Weekend in LA. And if you're not a wrestling fan, there will be other YouTube creator events, including a trip to the brand new Super Nintendo World at Universal Studios. So listen to World Class Bullshitters Live for more updates and for more information, email worldclassbs at mail.com. Thebestmail.com, jabroni.